Lesson 1-7, a problem-solving plan. Objective, to use five-step plan to solve problems over a given domain. Hey, everybody, that's what we're going to do. The first three steps we've already done. We did it in the last section. So this will be the new section. Here they are. Read carefully. We're going to, what do you know, what don't you know? Draw a picture. I didn't talk about that last time. Two, choose a variable. See it right there? Choose a variable. Use it to express both unknowns. Reread, write an equation. Now we're going to solve for the unknowns and check the results with the words. Then give your answer. So that's what we're going to do over here. Here's our problem. Two numbers differ by 57. Their sum, their sum is 185. Find the numbers. Okay, so we have a big number and a small number. We have a big and a small. Well, we know that the big is 57 more small. They differ, right? They differ by 57. 57 is small. The small is, well, 57 is just the small number, right? Oh, look at that. I'm already done. I've already done step two. The small number is f, the big is 57 plus s. Okay. Their sum is 185. Big plus small is 185. Nice thing is, step two, uh, I uh, choose a variable. I just I already have small as small and big written as small. So now all I have to do is use this, the other fact, to make an equation. Big plus small is 185. The variable I'm going to use is s. So big, 57 plus s. Small s is 185. Now, the domain over a domain is what we're talking about this time. We're solving over a domain, which means they gave us a domain. These are the numbers we can put in for the small. We're going to check each one of those in this equation to see if it works. So let's see. Does 54 work? Is 57 plus 54 plus 54 185? Let's see. 54 plus 54, 108. What's 108 plus 57? 165. Ah, doesn't work. All right, 64. 64 and 64, I can do that in my head. 60 and 60 is 120, 128. What's 57 plus that? 185. 185! Ding, 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 ding. Well, then 74 is not going to work. It isn't going to be too much. It's going to be bigger than that. So we have 64. But what is 64? 64 is S. S is the small. This, the, 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 the last, the, the number four says, solve the equation, then find the unknowns. We found one unknown. We need to still find the other unknown, which is 57 more. 64 plus 57. Six is, ooh, 121. 121. So let's double check. That's definitely 57 more. But do they add up to 185? We're checking to the, with the words. Let's see. 4 and 1 is 5. 12 and 6 is 8. Yes. So it works. Woohoo! All right. One more problem, and then we're done with this section. All right. Let's see. A teacher weighs 60 pounds more than a student. All right. What, Charlie? you got to climb out from there. Quick. All right. A teacher weighs 60 pounds more than a student. The student weighs two-thirds as much as the teacher. How much does it each weigh? Choices for students. Okay, they give us some choices, the domain. All right. So a teacher weighs 60 pounds more than a student. So the teacher is the student plus 60, right? 60 pounds more. Also, thing we know is the student weighs two-thirds as much as. As much as is like of. I forgot to put that one in. That means multiply. So two thirds of the teacher. So the student is two thirds of the teacher. Okay? All right. Now, they gave us some choices for the student. But before we do this stuff, we have to make our equation by using one unknown. We need to express both. Charlie, get up. you just knocked it out of the way, bud. Move out of the way. Thanks. All right. You have to express both as the same, un as the same unknown. So I already have teacher as S. So I'm going to let the student be S, and the teacher also expresses S. So we have the student S. So we have the student as S. We have the teacher as S plus 60, both using the same variable. Let's use that. 
with this fat, the second fat. We want to have S's only, so we have to substitute for this T, okay? The student is two-thirds of the teacher. Woohoo! Have my equation. Now, I have to plug these guys in. I'm going to do them one at a time. Okay? S equals two-thirds S plus 60. S equals two-thirds S plus 60. All right. Now, let's see, when I plug each one in, which one is the actual, which one actually works. Okay? Here we go. Let's try 110. Is 110 equal to two-thirds 110 plus 60? Let's see, 110 and 60 is 170. Is 110 equal to two-thirds 170? Hmm, well, let's see. Well, no. I know that three, let's not going to go into that, but let's do it anyway. Okay, two times 170, what is it? 340. Is 340 over three equal to 110? No, definitely not, because 110 times three is not 340, it's 330. All right, doesn't work with 110. Let's try with 120. Is 120 equal to two thirds? 120 oops, plus 60. Let's see. 120 plus 60 is 180. 120 is it two thirds? 180. Hmm. Well, can I do? Let's make this a little fancier. Let's go 180 over one, and I can reduce first. Three goes to 180. How many times? All right. Is 2 times 60, 120? Yeah, look at this. I get 120 over 1 times 1, 1. Yes, it works. Woohoo! I found mine. The answer is going to be, where are you, buddy? 120. We can try 125 just for hoots and giggles. Um, is 125 equal to 2 thirds 125 plus 60? 125 plus 60 is 185. Uh, two thirds is that 125? Let's see. Two thirds times 185. <laughs> Let's try it out. Well, twice 185, 18, 18 is 36. 370 over three is 125 times three. 370. No, 125 times three is 375. So that would work. We have our one solution. There is one that works. The one that works is 120. What is 120 though? 120 is X. So we still need to find the teacher. So we found the student 120. But what's the teacher? The teacher is S plus 60. S plus 60. 120 plus 60? 180. Now let's double check. A teacher weighs 60 more than a student. Yes. The student weighs two-thirds as much as the teacher. Is 120 two-thirds of 180? Well, what's one-third of 180? 60, so two-thirds must be 60 and 60. Yes, I checked with the words, it works. Follow the five steps and you'll be cool. Later.